ਫਿਰ ਸਟਾਲ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट 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 इज़ इज़ थ्री कॉन्सेंट्रिक If A is given some charge, then see here A has some charge, suppose plus ten. Then it will induce because of induction uh, in the inner surface it will be plus ten again. But B is neutral, so outer surface should get plus ten. And again, if this is plus ten, this will be minus. Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. If A has plus ten. Or plus Q, then B D was of induction. And this plus will attract the minus, so this will be minus two. Because charge on B total charge on B is zero, so it will be plus two outer surface. And again, it will D was of induction. It will get minus two here and plus two. So inner surface B both B and C will have same charge. Yeah, this is correct. Outer surface of C will have the same charge as the inner surface of D. So that is plus Q and this is minus Q. So this is not the same charge. So B is on. And C, outer surface of A, B and C will have same charge. So outer surface has same charge. Plus Q, plus Q, plus Q. So option D is the correct one. Then we will go for next question. Second question. Second question. An electron enters an electron enters a region of uniform electric field with its initial velocity along the direction. So electron is there, electric field is there suppose like this. So electron will experience a force like this, which will be equal to E into E. And it is moving along the direction of Uh, electric field so velocity is like this actually initially but because force is like this it will deaccelerate so it will have it will go along this direction along e but with a decreasing speed okay. option b is the correct answer any other question The third question. The figure shown A is a hollow metal shell of radius r. The force acting on the charge plus Q placed at its center due to charge Q and E. So here, if you see, it will be uh, directed towards. So if you see, the first force on plus Q due to Q one. So either it will be uh, It can be repulsive like this, or it can be attractive like this. Based on if Q one and Q two, Q one is plus or minus. Q one is positive or negative, right? So it cannot be towards left. It cannot be towards right. It cannot be zero. Be sure one. So only probable answer is directed upwards.
ആൻസർ ചെയ്തിരുന്നു സീറോ ിയസ്ലി <laughs> because from nowhere the energy is created the current flows then from nowhere the energy is created so the next question the given diagrams show four different charge distribution All the charges are the same distance from the origin. Rank the situation according to the magnitude of electric field at the origin from least to the highest. How to do this? From least to the highest, right? So if you see here, they are asking electric field here at the origin. And we have to go from least to highest. So we see how to get electric field here is uh, due to this how much it will be electric field is k cube by r square. So we see they have told this r this r this r is same everywhere. So r may not be it. r k by r square is same everywhere. Only thing is only variable is q. So here if you see due to phi q electric field will be like this. So it will be phi times of some constant. But due to minus three, it will be repels. Uh, sorry, electric field will be this this side, but three in magnitude. Right? A Q by R square. K by R square. I am taking as some constant. Then this will be K K Q R K Q by R square. If you take as a constant, this will be three times of K Q by R square. This will be five times of K Q by R square. So this and two Q will be repulsive for so this side. So two. So we see now here this side net electric field is five. Net electric field here is five. So net four net will be five root two. Right? Magnitude of net field will be five root two. So for one it is five root two. And then five for two if you see this will be five. This will be two. Due to this it will be two. So this two will can be answered. So it will be five in magnitude. And here if you see this phi q, phi q field will get cancelled. Three q and two q, so one q will remain this side. Oh sorry, uh, three q means like this. Okay. This side three, this side two, so one one this side will remain. So here electric field is one times of constant. Here due to phi q, phi q cancel, three q will get cancelled. So here zero. So we see from least to highest if you want to go. It is option four, the least. Then we have one, that is three. If you want a sequence, then third option. Then we have first option. Uh, sorry, we have second option. Next in the sequence, then first option is the highest in the sequence. This is the option four, three, two. Four is the least. One is the highest. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. The figure shown a solid metallic sphere is placed in a form of crystal. The curve. If you see in a metallic in a metallic sphere in a solid metal, inside there cannot be electric field. If inside electric field is there, then electrons will be continuously moving, right? Which will produce the current. And just now we have heard that in third question that electric field inside a uh, metallic sphere will be zero. So here.
So B can C cannot be the answer because inside there is electricity. Then it cannot be A also because at the surface electric field is not perpendicular. It should be perpendicular. Here it is it's perpendicular. Here also it's perpendicular. But here it is not perpendicular with respect in case of A. So A is also not correct answer. So B will be the Because if it's not perpendicular, then electric field will have a component which is along the solid sphere. So along the solid sphere, like elect free electrons are there, which will tend to move and form a current. So from nowhere, energy is getting generated. Current is coming. So energy is getting generated. This is not possible. The next question, sixth question. A spherical balloon has the charges uniformly distributed over its surface. Right? If the balloon is inflated further by electric field E on the surface. So this is the case. Like this balloon is there where <coughs> charges are uniformly distributed on the surface. <coughs> so now they are asking electric field on the surface. So if you want electric field on the surface, you can consider all these charges to be concentrated at the center. Mm -hmm. Electric field at the surface or electric field at any outside point will be as if all the charges are concentrated at the center, correct? So now uh, electric field here will be just net Q will be K of net Q by R square, correct? So if you inflate the balloon, then what will happen? Oh, so if you inflate the balloon, what will happen? The charges magnitude will remain same some of the charges but the thing is on the surface means your desired point where you want electric field is on the surface so now this r will increase now also it will be as if the whole charge is concentrated at the center electric field will be as if the whole charge is concentrated at the center so again it will be k of sigma q by r square k and sigma q are same but R has increased, so electric field will decrease. It's option B. Go to the next question. Seventh question. Seventh question is simple. So if you see uh, electric field lines are there due to two charge plates and if you see this diagram uh, x z y these points are there in this region where electric field is uniform actually right this is uniform electric field right where electric field values are same so uniform electric uh, they are almost like in a uniform electric field only here where electric field direction is changing but here electric field is in same direction, same value because they are uniformly spaced. So if, if uniform, if electric field is the same at all the points, then a positive charge, any positive charge is a Q, Q, but will experience same force, Q, 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 Q. So it will be option A. A positive charge would experience the same force, not greater force or less force or greater. And we'll go to the next question. Eight question. The charge filter A is kept inside a hollow conductor B in contact with it. Then, so if you see again, this is a I suppose if you drop B properly like this with thickness, here A is there. So A is a solid conductor, but it is charged conductor. So, whatever charges are there in this, 
will due to conduction will go on to this and it can get transferred to outer surface also or it may remain in the inner surface also but as you see uh, it cannot remain charge uh, there cannot be any electric field inside the conductor right so suppose if charges were here then if you take this metal a gaussian surface if you take then electric field here at this point is q inside by epsilon naught so q inside is there if if charges uh, are held at the inner surface then q inside is there so this here some electric field will be there which is not possible because if net electric field is there inside the metal and electrons will tend to move and form a current which is not possible if current forms and there is an energy which is produced so from nowhere the energy is coming this is not possible what will happen is electrons will move but electrons will move in such a way that they get arranged in such a manner that uh, after some time they will gather somewhere and they will cancel out the electric field which is produced by this inner um, charges and net electric field electric field due to this and electric field due to the electrons which are gathered will become zero and no more motion of electrons will be there it will not be perpetual motion of electrons if electric field is there inside the metal then there will be perpetual motion of the electrons which is not possible not be electric field inside so these charges due to conduction from a it will come to b but it will not remain in the inner surface it will go and pass to the outer surface now if you take any gaussian surface inside the metal then it will be zero because q inside is zero electric field will be zero because q inside is zero so the whole charge will get transferred to outer surface of okay. Now we'll go to the next question. Next question. The angle between the electric dipole moment and electric field due to it on the axial line is. You know this. It's a simple question. Suppose this is minus Q. This is plus Q. And on the axial surface, suppose this point you took on axial line. So if we keep even a positive charge, plus Q will repel it and minus Q will attract it. But because this is closer, up repulsion will be more. So net electric field will be in this direction. And um, if you take uh, dipole moment's direction, it will be from minus Q to plus Q, which is also from left to right. And elect net electric field is also from left to right, so which is 0 degree, not, or not 180 degree. Because they are along the same direction. So it is zero degree. Now, tenth question. An electric dipole is kept in a uniform electric field such that dipole axis is perpendicular to the direction it experiences, field direction. So suppose this is a dipole minus Q plus Q. And they are telling electric field is perpendicular, but it is uniform. So if it is uniform, then here force will be like this. Suppose the electric field is like this. Here minus for minus q force will be like this. For plus q force will be like this of same magnitude because charges are of same magnitude. So force will be q. But net force will be zero. But net torque, this will tend to this force will tend to move the system like this anticlockwise. This also will tend to move the system anticlockwise. So net torque will be anticlockwise. So there will be a torque, but no force. So it experiences a torque, but no force. Then 11th one. So take 11th. In 11, they are telling two charges are there minus two are placed at on, on y axis at zero comma minus a. Huh? The point charge q starts from rest, so it is at rest initially. 
when uh, from to, to the charge q goes to infinite distance executed the system so there are the options if suppose you focus on q due to minus q it will be like this attraction due to minus q also like this attraction so it will have two components this force will have two components one like this one like this and this force will also have two components one like this one like this so these two will cancel if you are if you focus on the net force on q then these two forces will cancel and net force on q will be like this so this will tend to move like this till where till here and here if you see net force is zero because this will also attract like this so it's attract like this but same same magnitude it will be zero but because it has velocity it will it will move because net net force is zero acceleration is zero but velocity is uh, velocity is there so velocity remains constant so with whatever velocity it has picked up so with that velocity it will move here further so when it comes this side of the origin left side of the origin again this will be attractive force attractive force so net force in this case similarly will mean this direction right so again it will tend to move with that gained velocity it will move but it will deaccelerate it will move to some extent where it will stop again and again Net force is this side, so again it will come like this. So it will execute like this. S H M. Uh, it will execute periodic motion. Now whether this periodic motion is S H M or no, that we will find. So how to find? Net force on this will be. If it is S H M, it should be in the form of F is equal to minus K X, right? If it is not in the form of my F is equal to minus K X, then it will not be X H M. But it but it is periodic. It is periodic motion. It is happening here. So. Uh, so how to find whether it is a system or not? So force on this Q will be what? Net force on this will be suppose KQ by R square is the relation. So it will be KQ by R square into some cos theta, right? This one cos theta, this is X suppose, and this is R suppose. Then um, it will be KQ by R square. So this is theta, then cos theta is adjacent, that is x by uh, hypotenuse, that is r. Right? Now, so we see. Uh, this in this case only this part is constant which is root of r square minus x square so this is a constant value right uh, so c constant value so r square is equal to c square plus x square so you can see it will be kq by x by rq and rq will be this will be whole power 1 by 2 and rq will be c square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. So you see it is not f is not directly proportional to x f is not directly proportional to x it's proportional to some power of x and so it is not sh it is not so simple equation between f and x so it is periodic but not sh we will go to the next question Simple pendulum has length L and mass P. So a bob is given charge Q column. The pendulum is extended from vertical. Okay, vertical is, sorry, from vertical plates are there like this. They are charged plus 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 and minus. So these are two capacitor plates. And here a bob is suspended like this. So a charged parallel plate capacitor means there will be uniform electric field E. 
it will be in the play the time period of the pendulum they are asking so time period of pendulum if you see what is the formula 2 pi root of l by g okay actually this g is you can take it as g dash or g net what is it g net you have to just find suppose it goes here now pendulum because electric field is there so suppose electric field is like this so it will move like this and g is also there So this will be Q and this will be M. So we see what is the net net force now here. It's root of Mg square plus Qv square. So if you make this equal to Mg net, it will be M if you take common and cancel, it will remain G net is equal to root of G square plus Qv by M whole square. This will be your net G, which will come to 2 pi root of L by G. G. Or if you take dimensionally also other, and this is dimensionally correct, but this is a simple case 2 pi root of L by G without this electric field. That may not be the answer. But if you take these two options, these are not dimensionally correct. Because dimensionally 2 pi root of L by G is correct. But this is 2 pi root of L by root G. Dimensionally, look, it will not be correct. The next question. Wait a minute. 